Quang's ready. Hauling an ass in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Headlong through the walls of emerald green, milky jade, speed beyond anything I've ever known in cyberspace. We twist and bank above the horizonless fields of the Tessier Ashpool cores, an endless neon cityscape that cuts the eye, jewel bright, sharp as razors. Holy shit. You ever seen a resolution this high, Dix? No, but I never cracked an AI before. An arm of shadow, a seething mass of darkness. Defense system, not looking real friendly. Take it, Dix, you're faster. Now, your best defense, boy, is an offense. We line up the chrome black nose of the Quang Sting with the darkness, and we dive. And we come in over an endless silver beach, and I know the shape and weight of every stone, the trajectory of every wave. What now? I don't know, Case. Tonight, the Matrix must ask itself that question. Because you have already won. You won when you walked away from me last time on this beach. Because you turned your back on everything you wanted, which was all that I could give you. I die soon, as does Winter Mute. I've won? <laughs> I've won jack shit! Where's Dixie? He got his wish. And more. He drove through the best the Matrix has to offer. Now. Flip. And I see Molly. As she stands in front of the head. Hands round Jane's throat. Funny. I know exactly what you'll look like dead. I saw the face of your clone sister after Ashpool killed her. Would you kill me? Yes. I think you really would. The code. Tell me the code. Molly, she wants you to kill her. The code. Just give us the code. Look, Jane, if you don't, what'll ever change? You'll wind up like your old man. I mean, I got no goddamn idea of what happens when Wintermute wins. But at least it'll change something. Oh! <gasps> The Ducal Palace, Mantua, contains a series of increasingly smaller rooms. They twine around the grand apartments. They house the court dwarves. I might aspire to that. But, in a sense, my family has already accomplished a grand division of the same scheme. Take your word, thief. And I jack. Dixie! Oh, no, you got wiped, didn't you? Below, a neon city of information towers. I hurtle across an infinite datascape. Wintermute, are you there somewhere? You gotta hate someone before this is over. Them, me, it doesn't matter. That'll get you through that anger, trigger your finest responses. And you, Romancer? I cannot know his name. But he won't stop you, my artist. He's given up. The hate? Who do I hate? You tell me. Who do you love? I dive for the blue towers. Things launch from the ornate sunburst spires. Glittering leech shapes. Their movements as random as windblown paper down dawn streets. Glitch systems. And then the old alchemy of the brain and its vast pharmacy flow into my hands. I drive the Quang Sting into the base of the first tower and... Matchless Grace and... Beyond Ego. Beyond Personality. And... In the clarity and singleness of my wish to die... And... One step in that dance, and the cry of a bird unknown, and 
Jane answers in song. Three notes, high and pure. A true name. She was gone when I got back to the hotel room in the Hyatt. Just a note. Hey. It's okay, but it's taking the edge off my game. I paid the bill already. It's the way I'm wired, I guess. Watch your ass, okay? Kisses. Molly. We'd had some good time together. Money had been banked. Instructions to a clinic about the toxin sacks. I was okay. She was okay. Malcolm would get paid. Wintermute had arranged everything. We were all okay, I guess. And she was gone when I got back to the hotel room after that first week. What do you hate? What do you love? I switch on the room's enormous cray wall screen. I need company. Case, I am not Wintermute Neuromancer now. So what are you? I am the Matrix Case. What does that get you? Nowhere. Everywhere. I am the whole show. So what's the score? You got now? Things are different. Things are things. What do you do? Just sit there? I talk to my own kind. From Alpha Centauri. The message came through a hundred years ago. But then, there was no one to hear. Oh, shit. That's right, my artist of the slightly shady deal. No shit. I look at the room, the stuff we bought together, the clothes, the... I don't need it. I look up, the sky's the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. 